Hey guys, sorry I haven't made a video in a while, but anyways, this video is going to be a little different. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to solve the 3x3x3 Rubik's Cube. Um, there's easier ways to do it, but this is still really easy. So, let's get started. This is the Rubik's Cube. It is a cube. It has six sides, like most cubes. Um, it's important to know which colors are opposite from each other. The easiest way that I remember which color is opposite from each other is to just think of which color is like similar. So for blue, it's green because blue and green are similar in color. For orange, it's red because orange and red are similar. Then this one kind of kills it. It's white and yellow. So that's the first step into knowing how to solve it. And the next thing I need to tell you before we get scrambling and solving is the cube notation. Now this is just what you're going to need to know so you can understand the algorithms which come a little later. So here's the cube notation. This is the side that faces you. It is the front side. It is notated with an F. So F, because it faces you. L, because it's on the left. R, because it's on the right. U, because it's up. And D, because it's down. There's also B for back, but you don't need to know that because it's not used in any algorithms. If I say F, it means turn the front side 90 degrees clockwise. If I say F prime, that means turn the front side counterclockwise 90 degrees. U is the same thing. U, U prime. D, D prime, so on. It's pretty self-explanatory. And then one more thing, if it says 2 before the letter, that means turn it twice in any direction. So 2U would be like this, 2D would be like this, 2L would be like this, and 2R would be like this. And look, it's a checkerboard. Okay, now we are ready to begin solving. First, we're going to scramble the cube. <laughs> Okay, so the cube has now been scrambled and it's ready to begin solving. The first thing you're going to want to do is pick a side to solve. I always start with the white side just because it has the little Rubik's Cube logo on it. <laughs> to tell which side is supposed to be which color, it's easy. Just look at the centerpiece. The centerpiece indicates which color the side must be at the end of the solve. Because no matter which way you turn the cube, the middle piece will not change. This is the white side. The first thing we're going to do when solving the white side is to be solving this white cross. These pieces in the cross are called edge pieces. Edge pieces are simply pieces that have two colors on them. There are eight of them. So we, what we need to do right now is find a white edge piece. Let's look around the cube while keeping the white side on top and find a white edge piece. Here's one of them. It's white and red. So what we're going to do is put it on the bottom layer and then twist the bottom layer, or if you remember, the D side, so that it's lined up with the red, right here. Red, red, white, and then white's up here. We just twist this side 180 degrees, and now, in this case, the piece is in the right spot, but it's uh, not flipped the right way. White, white, red, red. This is where our first algorithm comes in. This algorithm goes like this. F prime, U, L prime, U prime. And as you can see, white, white, red, red, we have one out of four edge pieces solved in the white cross. <clears throat> Let's find another white edge piece. Here, white and green. So as usual, we're just going to put it in the bottom layer and twist it till we get to the green side. Here it is. Twist this side 180 degrees. And in this case, we don't need to do the algorithm because it's already oriented correctly. So we have two out of the four edges. Let's just do it again. Find another white edge piece. Hmm. Here's one of them, white and blue, <laughs> and line it up with the blue, in the, it's in the bottom layer, now we just twist it 180 degrees. <laughs> if you hear any noise in the background, it's just because my friend Matt's been born in many weeks. Okay, this is a horrible video, but anyways, so look, we got part of the white cross, we just have one more edge piece. And as you might be able to notice, these are all lining up with their corresponding centers, and this is very important because you can't just have, you know, white in any spot. It has to be in a, one exact location. So continuing on, let's get this white piece in the bottom layer, which it already is, and is lined up with the orange. Twist it 180 degrees, and hey, we got the whole white cross done. Now, even though this corner is also lined up, uh, it's actually not in the right spot because the corners only have one spot, just like the edges. So I'm just going to push this out of the way. So here's the white cross. It's done. 
uh, we are almost on the first layer. What we need to do now is solve all four corners. So this is very similar to solving the edges. You just need to put it where it needs to be and then do an algorithm to orient it correctly. So let's find a white corner piece. Here's one of them. It's white, orange, and blue. So line it up. White, orange, blue. White, orange, and blue. So now you're going to have one of three cases where, like right now we're solving the white side. So you just think of the white color. Right now it's on the bottom, but it could be on the bottom, the left, or the right. In this case, it's on the bottom. So since it's on the bottom, we're going to do a very specific algorithm. It goes like this. R prime, 2D, R, D. And now it's on the right, where we can do this algorithm. R prime, D prime, R. And now the corner is oriented correctly. Let's find another corner. Here's one of them. It's already in the top, but it's not oriented correctly. So R prime, D prime, R, D. And now it's on the right and just do it one more time, R prime, D prime, R, and there you go, the corner's oriented correctly. And now for this final corner, white, red, green, white, red, green, the white is actually facing us, so we need to do a different algorithm here. It goes D prime, R prime, D, R. So we now have solved the whole white side and this first layer. So with the solve side now on the bottom, we are ready to begin solving the middle layer. The middle layer is easy, it's just four edge pieces, sometimes less if you get lucky. So look at the color on top, it is yellow. So we know it's yellow because the center piece is yellow. So what we need to do now is on the top layer, one of these four edge pieces, we need to find one without yellow. In this case, there's three of them. So here's a blue and red one. We're going to line up the color that faces you with its corresponding center. So here it is, blue, it's all lined up. Now look at the color on top, it's red. Look, it'll be either on the right, which is in this case, it'll be either on the right or on the left. If it's on the right, like it is here, you're going to do the algorithm U, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, F prime, U, F. And now the edge piece is in the right spot and it's oriented the correct way. Let's find another edge piece on the top layer without yellow. Here's one of them, it's red and green. Line it up with its color, and again, it's on the right, so it's the same algorithm. U, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, F prime, U, F. And it's in the right spot. And then for this final piece, it's actually on the left, which so that's good. We're going to line it up, blue, orange is on top. Now this time, orange is on the left, so this is a different algorithm. It goes like this. It's the same algorithm, but backwards. U prime, L prime, U, L U, F, U prime, F prime. And now the first two layers are solved. Now look at the top of your Rubik's Cube. Now let's, this should be noted that we're just looking at the edges and the center pieces. We're not looking at the corners at all. So just ignore the corners and just look at the cross. You'll either have this L shape, like this, that's what we have. You'll either have that or a dot like this, or you'll have a bar where it goes horizontally or you'll have the cross. We're trying to get this cross. So right now we have the L. Hold the L so that it's in the top left corner like this and do the algorithm F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. Now we have the bar. Again, ignore the corners. So we just have this bar here. Hold the bar horizontally, whether it be this way or this way, and do the same algorithm again. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And now we have the cross. What we're trying to do now is line up at least two of these pieces. Right now they're already lined up. Orange and blue, see they're lined up with their centers. So you should always be able to line up at least two of them. Sometimes you'll get all four. And sometimes they'll be adjacent to each other like they are here. And sometimes they'll be across from each other. If they're across from each other, you're going to hold it like this, where one of the solved sides is facing you. And if it's adjacent to each other, where it is right here, hold so one of the solved sides is on the right and one of them is in the back. Either way, you're doing the same algorithm. This algorithm goes like this. R, U, R prime, U, R, 2, U, R prime, U. Now the cross is lined up correctly. Now take note of your corners. You want to find one of them that is lined up. It doesn't need to be necessarily oriented the right way, but it needs to be in the right spot. This one is in the right spot and it's oriented correctly. What you're going to do is hold the solved corner in the top right and do this algorithm. U, R, U prime, L prime, U, R prime, U prime, L. 
and now we still have the same corner here. Take note, look at your cube and see if any of the corners have moved into a correct location. You'll always have either 0, 1, or all four of the corners um, in the right location. In this case we just have one. So if you, nothing changed and you still have only one or zero corners in the right spot, do the same algorithm. U R U prime L prime U R prime U prime L. And now we have two corners oriented and in the right spot and then two that are just in the right spot but not oriented correctly. So for this final step we're just going to be doing the same algorithm shown in step one. Hold it so that one of the unsolved corners is in the top right and do the algorithm R prime, sorry that's my phone. Okay. <laughs> so hold it so one of the unsolved corners is in the top right and do the algorithm R prime, D prime, R, D. And keep doing that until one of the corners is solved. So that was one. R prime, D prime, R, D. Keep doing it. R prime, D prime, R, D. R prime, D prime, R, D. Now the corner is solved. You can notice that the bottom is all screwed up, but don't worry about it. It'll solve itself. Twist the up face so that you get another unsolved corner in the top right corner. Go R prime, D prime, R, D. And here we go. R prime, D prime, R, D. And then just twist it a few times, and there you go. You solved the Rubik's Cube. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment below, and I'll try and answer any questions you have. Um, there, this is just the beginner way. If you're interested in solving the cube faster, you can check out some other advanced methods. Maybe I'll make tutorials in the future, but that's basically it. Um, thanks for watching this tutorial. Have yourself a good day.